Hi guys, welcome to lesson two of Sail Prey Sound Virtual Regatta Sailing Lessons. So as we said in lesson one, today we're going to be doing the bare basics of how to move your boat around in the sailing school portion of the Virtual Regatta app. So to start things off, we're gonna be looking at things about how to move your boat around, head up, bear off, just the bare minimum things that you need to know to be able to move your boat around a race course. And then the next lesson we'll get into some more things like how to sail a regatta in this app and maybe you'll be able to do a little bit of competition on your own in the in-game events and things like that and then get into some racing at Sail Prairie Sound race nights. Okay, so let's get right into it here. So we're on our default loading screen. We're gonna wanna click on Sailing School and when we're in the sailing school, go to lesson one. And with this, it'll just be showing you how to head up and bear off using the keys on your computer, if you're playing on your computer, or if you're on a mobile device, they will show up on the screen. So go ahead and hit the play button right here. And it will take you on the water. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is bear off and get through that gate over there. So I'm gonna use the left key and just turn. You might see on the screen right there it's showing you just to hit the left key there's a diagram and then we're gonna head up to the next one by going to the right key and there we go we have completed the first section of lesson one so just using the left and right keys and a bit of a tip for this whether you're playing on a mobile device or your iPhone the keys tend to be pretty sensitive whenever you're going left or right or heading up or bearing off. So make sure that you're tapping them pretty lightly, maybe like one tap just to adjust your course, just to see how much it really does steer the boat. And having a sensitive touch on the keys is definitely important because if you hit it for a long period of time, your boat's gonna head up a lot or bear off a lot and it's gonna be way more drastic than you would have liked. Okay, we're back in the sailing school, and we're going to go to the next section. This is the points of sail. So this is the pretty much the same thing as we were doing before, except now it's just taking you around the horn with all the different points of sail. So we're on a broad reach right now, heading over to a run. And once again, I'm just using my left arrow key to make these turns. And if you're on a mobile device, you will be using the left arrow key that is on your screen. And turning around in a circle until we get all the way back to the beginning, just using the arrow keys. So I would strongly encourage that you get the feel of moving left and right before we get into this next part. It's a little bit more advanced. We're now going to be sailing directly into the wind so in order to do that we need to tack so using our knowledge of how to turn left and right and we can see that there's a meter up there telling us when we're on a close hauled course we're gonna sail close hauled to close hauled and try and make our way upwind to a certain point so right here I'm gonna use my arrow key and turn to the right and once I get past the wind I can sail on a close hauled course I'll stay on this course for a little bit and then hovering my finger over the left key right now, just waiting for the perfect time to tack, and I think it's about now. So I'm going to tack through the wind once again, onto a close hauled course, and there we go, we've made it to a point tacking upwind. Next thing we're gonna do is pretty much the same thing, except we're going to be going downwind, and this is going to be utilizing our spinnaker. So as you may know, many boats have spinnakers and the boats that will be sailing in virtual regatta, most of them will also have spinnakers, but they're all asymmetrical. So like tacking upwind, we're now gonna have to jibe downwind. So again, nice and simple using our left and right arrow keys. And then you have this button right here, which is the tab key, or you can just go ahead and click on it with your mouse like I did right there and that will allow you to hoist your spinnaker. So when you're going downwind with your spinnaker, it's best to go on a little bit of an angle to the wind or a broad reach, whatever you like. So now we're gonna head up and we had to douse our spinnaker. And as we approach the mark again, we have to hoist our spinnaker. Take note in this scenario as well, it does take 1.5 seconds for the spinnaker to get hoisted. So if you're looking for that optimal time, getting your spinnaker up as soon as you go downwind, 
you can pre-hoist it just a little bit. So when you're about to hit the mark, that's when you're going to hit hoist your spinnaker. In this next section called Helm Like a Champion, we're going to be utilizing something called Velocity Made Good. So this is an extremely important concept when sailing. VMG combines the angle that your boat is to the wind and the speed that your boat is going when sailing on any particular course and gives you the optimal point of sail and the most efficient point of sail to get you to a point. Let's jump into this lesson right here. So once we get across the line, I'm going to pause it right here. Notice on your screen, this new thing has been to introduce that kind of looks like a windsock. Well, actually it is a windsock and it's showing you exactly what angle the wind is hitting your sail. So right now it looks red, but if we head up a little bit, it is going to turn green. So we always want to keep our little VMG windsock in the green. So there we go. We've headed up a little bit and our VMG is good. It's in the green. Now we're going to head downwind and once again I'm going to hit pause. Two things are going to happen when we go around this mark. Our VMG will now be off and we're also going to have to hoist our spinnaker because we are heading downwind. So prepare to do that, hoist your spinnaker, and then try and get yourself on the best VMG once again. And I'm going to hit resume. Okay, we've rounded the mark, and now we are adjusting our VMG until it turns green. And there we, oh, there we go. It's perfectly green. And we're heading downwind. So those two things are super key for when you are just trying to sail the boat, hoisting your spinnaker going downwind, and then both on your upwinds and your downwinds, it's extremely important they're keeping that VMG arrow in the correct place. I'll hop back on camera now, and I'll let you in a little secret. There is a way to get around this velocity made good thing where you have to keep adjusting it to stay on a perfect close hauled course because it is extremely difficult. And the way to do it is by acquiring in-game currency and then every time you do a race you can apply the best VMG which will just always keep you on the best course no matter which way the wind is shifting. Uh, but the only way to acquire that currency is to do well in races so you do have to learn to do it without the best VMG first. We'll get into that a little bit later in one of the future lessons. That pretty much wraps it up here for lesson two of the Sail Parade Sound Virtual Regatta Sailing Lessons. Thanks for tuning in. Next time we'll be doing the regatta segment of the sailing school portion. So thanks for tuning in and we will see you in the next lesson.